All right, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm excited to introduce a new feature that we've just added to TechSite Builder. Uh, what we've done is we've uh, added over a hundred stock photos and graphics that you can use on your TechSite Builder website. And we've made it very easy for you to implement and use these different photos and graphics on your site so that you can get up and running very quickly with this. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. So the first thing we want to do is uh, jump over to the dashboard of our website. And then we want to head over to the media section. And there's a new sub menu under media called stock photos. So we'll click on that and that will take us to the stock photos screen where we see all the different categories of stock photos that are available to us. So you'll notice that um, we've got things like Apple devices, backup services, computer repair, networking, servers, virus and malware removal, tech support. So a, a bunch of different categories that you know would hopefully apply to your computer business. We plan on adding more categories in the future and more photos and graphics in the future as well. So this library will continue to grow. Uh, but now hopefully uh, with over 100 different choices, you will find something that can work for your uh, website now. Um, so instead of kind of, you know, just going through how this works, um, I want to use kind of a practical example. I think a practical example would be the best way to, to explain this to you. So let's say, for example, I want to add a new service to my website uh, for backups. Uh, and I want to highlight that particular service and get some graphics for it. So I would go to the backup category and click on that. And then that'll take me to all of the different images that are available under the backup services category. And then I can choose the image I want to use. Um, in this case, I, I kind of like this image um, with the, the big backup in, in big bold letters and the computers connecting to it. Uh, very simple, very easy to understand. So what I want to do is, uh, first thing you'll notice is for this particular image, there are some different sizes available. So we have the full size, and if you look up here, there's a, a description about what the sizes mean. But basically the full size is just the large, full-sized image. You know, it's a few thousand pixels wide, so, you know, pretty big. And you can use this anywhere, like in pages and blog posts, and you can resize it to whatever size you need it. The other, another size that's available is the slider size. And that is a perfect size to use on your home page slider. So we've cropped it and resized the original image to make it uh, fit perfectly into your home page slider. And then the service size is perfect for the service boxes that you have on your services page. Uh, so again, these are cropped and resized to a perfect size for your services boxes. So, um, so for example, my new backup service. Uh, so first of all, I want to create the service page for my backup service. So what I want to do is download the service size of the backup image. So I'll click on the service box and then scroll down and click on the download image to media library. So when I click on that, um, I can look at the top of my screen. It says the image has been downloaded. So that's my success message. So then I can head over to the media library and what happened was the image was automatically downloaded to my media library. So if I go to the library and I check, I'll see, oh yep, there's that, uh, the backup image is now there. So now I can head over to the services area of my dashboard and I wanna create a new, uh, new service and I already started a draft of that uh, called backup service. And then what I'll do is I just typed up some text for that really quick. So I'll copy that and paste that in. All right. Uh, and then I'll fill out the rest of the information. So I probably, uh, you know, there's going to be a varying cost for this. So uh, here's a here's a cool little tip. Uh, you can use the cost box for other things. Like, for example, I want to highlight this particular service as being new. So I'll just type the word new in there and then that's going to put a nice little new tab over my service box. Um, I'm not going to use an icon. Instead, I'm going to use a service listing image. So I'll click on that and then I'll choose the image that I uh, downloaded from the stock photo gallery. And I'll set that as my featured image. And then I'll publish. 
So now I can check that out by going to the front end of my website and going to the services page. And you'll see now I have the backup service with the image there at the top, nice and neat. You'll see I have the new tab showing there. It's covering up the, the, the word backup though, so I might end up getting rid of that actually. Uh, so if I want to uh, go back, go to my services, backup service, and then I'll just get rid of that. Uh, but you can see how that works, right? Uh, if I wanted to add a new tab, you can do that. Um, but unfortunately, this time it covers up my image. All right, so I got rid of that. I head over to my services page. And there you go. The, the image is there at the top of the box, nice and neat. It fits perfectly. Now, if someone clicks to read more, you'll notice the, the image is missing here, right? Because it's only being applied to the services page. So in this case, I might want to use the full size image to, to show in my, in the full size uh, service page. So I'll go back to the dashboard. I'll go back to media stock photos, go back to backups. And now I'll choose the full size version of the image as well. Click download to the media library, head over to my media library just to make sure it's there. There it is. I'll go back over to services, backup service. And now I can add the media. Let me make sure I'm in the visual tab. I could add that image straight into my service by clicking the add media button. I'll choose the, the most recent image that's been uploaded is showing in the upper left. So I'll choose that. And you can always also check the, the title of the file. The image file will always be appended with the, the size it is. So it'll say full, or in this case, this says service. So I know what size I'm, I'm dealing with. In this case, I wanna use the full size. I wanna align it to the right. I don't wanna link it to anything. And I can choose from uh, some of these pre-made sizes here. Let me choose large. I'll insert that. That might be a little too big, so I will use the, uh, I'll click on the image and then drag it with using these boxes in the right, uh, in the corners of the image. So I'll drag it down to make it a little bit smaller there. Okay, uh, I think that looks good. I'll click update. So now when I view the service page, I'll have that backup image showing there as well as on the services page. So I can be consistent. All right, and I also want to highlight this new service on my homepage in the slider. So let's go back to the dashboard, go back to the media stock photos, the backup category. Now I'll choose the slider size of the backup image. Click download images, head over to the library, make sure that uh, it's there. There it is. So now I have all three sizes of the backup image there in my library. Now I head over to the home page section and I want to add a new slide to my slider. So I'll click four to add a fourth slide in here. I'll call it uh, something like new backup service and I'll just um, add a snippet from my description um, let's see something really easy like Jiffy PC gives you peace of mind with our data backup plans and then I'm gonna uh, choose the image And I just make sure that this is the slider size image. Looks good. Click set slide image. And then I'll link it to the service page. So let me get that URL really quick. I'll copy the URL and I'll use that. Oops, not there, here as the slide link. So that'll link directly to my service page. All right, and then I'll save that. All right, so now if I go to my home page, 
and I scroll through my different slides and I get to the backup slide and you'll notice it fits perfectly inside the slider. Uh, no distortion, no, no crazy, uh, you know, huge image here. Um, it's, a, it's a good, nice rectangle that fits within the service box. And now if I click anywhere in this image, it takes me to my backup service page. So you'll see uh, we made it very easy for you to add uh, these images or graphics into your website. Uh, you can add multiple sizes at once. So say I go to stock photos and I wanted to um, talk about a new networking plan that I have. Um, I can click on that. I could find a networking image that I really like, like this robot one is kind of cool. And I know I'm going to set up a service page. I know I'm going to add it to my slider and all of that stuff. So I can just click all three sizes at once that I want to add and then click the download images to media library and that'll add all three of those sizes to my media library. If I head over to the library and check, I see all three, all three sizes of that particular image. So, uh, you know, real straightforward there. Um, also just wanted to show you uh, in the graphics and icons category, if I click on that, you'll notice there are some, you know, big uh, graphics of, you know, kind of contemporary animated looking uh, kind of uh, images there at the top. And then at the bottom, we have some icon sets. So we have one, two, three, four icon sets. So if I choose to download these, you'll notice uh, it says how many icons come with the icon set. So if I wanted to like download maybe these uh, graphics here, I would click to download the nine icons and then click download that to media library. Then if I check my library, you'll see I have each of the individual icons as individual images that have been downloaded to my media library. And then I can use these individual icons wherever I want. So it's just kind of an all or nothing. That way you can have kind of a theme for your different uh, service icons, you know. Uh, that way they're all, you know, the same style and you can have, you know, that kind of theme going with your different icons and graphics. So that basically wraps it up. Uh, that's a new feature that we're adding, uh, you know, free of charge to, to all of the TechSite Builder plans. So check that out, have some fun with it, play around with it, and keep checking back because we're going to continue to add different uh, graphics and stock photos into that library. So you can have tons of different ones to choose from. You don't have to worry about, oh, am I gonna be using the same uh, graphics as someone else who uses TechSite Builder? We've hopefully given you enough options to, uh, to find your own unique uh, style and your own unique um, voice through the different graphics and photos that are available. So have fun and I'll see you uh, next time. Thanks.